strong curves, that's what we're talking about today. How to shrink your waistline and correct your posture all in one go. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Mm. Water. How do you keep your waist nice and small? One of my secret weapons is drink more water. Really simple, you don't do it enough. So, just a free little tip there for you. But, we're not gonna be talking about water today because that's just boring as hell. We're gonna be talking about stomach vacuums. Yes, you heard right. This isn't a cleaning technique. You know, my floors look pretty clean right now, but it's not because I vacuum. No, it's because I have a cleaner who does that for me. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a stomach vacuum. This little exercise, it looks weird, okay? I'm not gonna lie. We're always chasing that hourglass figure. And if you do a lot of weighted crunches, then over time, yes, you'll build muscle in that area, but you'll also find that your waistline becomes quite blocky and wide. A stomach vacuum is a really good way to keep your waistline really small and tight and strong. So I'm not saying don't do your crunches because your crunches are good, but start doing stomach vacuums. It will change your life. Well, maybe not your life, but it will definitely change your ab workouts and your waistline. One thing I will say is that this move is quite a tricky thing to master. When you first start practicing it, it's gonna feel a little bit weird. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward. You probably think, mm, I can't really do this, but please don't give up. Just keep going, keep practicing it. The technique will just click. You really do need a baseline of core strength before you can really master this technique. So if you've never trained abs before, or if you know that your core strength is pretty shocking, then I really recommend that you just work on uh, strengthening your core with some real basic beginner's workouts. So the stomach vacuum actually works your transverse abdominals, which is your inner core. Things like crunches and knee tucks and leg raises, they're great exercises that are going Going to strengthen your outer abdominal so your um, what are they called uh, I'm gonna have to google this one moment please that's it I knew I knew it was like I wanted to say rectum but that just sounded really weird because we all know what that is but yeah your rectus abdominus the six-pack that you you know that you can see when you train your core and you've got low body fat levels so yeah Let's get into it. Let me just show you exactly how to do this thing. Go out there and get your strong curves and get that tiny waist. So let's do this. So here's the thing. You can do this exercise standing up, bent over, uh, lying on your back. Um, I found personally that I was able to grasp it and really nail the technique so much better when I was on all fours. So this is how I'm going to show you, but please feel free to try it any which way. Also, one other thing before we get going, just spend a bit of time really deep breathing, just inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth, nice, deep, slow breath so that you can really calm your nervous system before you do this. You're on all fours and just make sure that you're aligned so your wrists are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips and you wanna just completely let the belly go, just hurl, let it all hang out. From here, just take some nice deep breaths. So you're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale fully until there is no air left in your lungs and your core is tensed. At this point, hold your breath, block your airway off, and then suck your belly in towards your spine. So a good way to visualize this is to pretend you are inhaling, but don't actually inhale. That basically means your diaphragm will go up into your rib cage and that's what creates the vacuum. So I'm just showing you from some different angles here. To start off, just do three sets and maybe try and hold between five and 20 seconds until you really get the hang of it and then you can hold for longer. When I actually do the vacuum, I kind of round my back out slightly. It just makes it a little bit easier. 
Oh, also I should note, you probably wanna be doing this on an empty stomach, so do it first thing in the morning, otherwise it's not gonna be very pleasant. And there you go, that's how you do a stomach vacuum. It's like a really weird feeling and it won't burn like crunches do. You'll just feel a bit exhausted from it and mainly because it's the breathing, right? You gotta, you're holding your breath and you're like <gasps> sucking it in. So it feels a little bit weird, but the more control you have over your transverse abdominals, the easier it's gonna get. The videos that I've seen on YouTube of people telling you how to do this technique, it's not, simply inhaling. It's not just sucking your belly in. I've seen some people just exhale and, and kind of tense their core. It's not that either. Just be wary because there's a lot of people out there teaching you how to do a stomach vacuum and they're actually not doing it at all. Yeah, that's it basically. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments. Please like it, give it one of these ones and subscribe because you know, I wanna show you guys all this kind of good stuff and you liking and subscribing, it actually really helps. And maybe press that little bell thing that people keep going on about too. Apparently that's a good thing too. So you always know when I've posted something new and I'll see you next time in another video.